Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We are back. I think this is the second time this week, actually, when back here in the studio. And uh, Christmas is coming up. And, you know, last year, my wife and I were doing a remodel of our kitchen. And there was a wonderful young lady that uh, that came over to help us and helped us through the whole process. Her name is Julie Garman. And I thought, I got to bring her in to celebrate the one-year anniversary of our kitchen. And she's just an amazing talent, an amazing talent. So, Julie Garman, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, actually. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Very welcome. <laughs> so, you just reminded me that mm-hmm. it's almost a year to date mm-hmm. for our kitchen. Yes. That's weird, right? I, it is weird. And, and we literally, like you said, we literally were, it was Christmas Eve. It was. We were finishing up our kitchen yeah. uh, to be done for, for the season. Yeah. And I think your kids were on school break then. Yes. So they were helping. Yes, they were helping. Yeah. I, it's just amazing. But <laughs> you did an amazing job. Thank you. Um, I, we, we have referred you out, you know, that we, yes. there's many friends that we've told you about because you're yeah. just, you know, I think one of the misconceptions of when you hire an interior design person or somebody that helps you with the interior decorating and things like that is that they're going to take control right. and it won't be something you like. Exactly. You know, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So the difference with you that, that I just loved was it wasn't like that. Right. You, you work with your clients. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I like to come in and, you know, ask what your needs are, um, what your interests are, you know, what your end goal is and how you really live Yeah. and then go from there. And I kind of remember that. And I learned a lot from you Mm, in the process. I really did. And I think that's something that's kind of fun too. Mm -hmm. You know, it shouldn't just be, you know, it's good to learn because we learned, we learned a lot. Yeah. I do have clients who text me when they're out shopping and they're like, look, I found this is the right size. And I'm like, yes, it works. And they say to me, wow, I'm really learning. Yeah. You know, because I do try to explain things so that you can do things on your own as well. Yeah. You know what really was one of the things that that stood out to me? We we knew we wanted to redo our kitchen and and it was um, we wanted white cabinets. Right. You came in and said, "Mm, you really don't want white cabinets. You want a shade of white. Right. Man, did we learn our lesson there? Yep. Because there's like a gazillion Whites. There, there are. I think we ended up with a Sherman Williams color. It might have been pearl white. I, that sounds familiar. Along that sounds lines. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. And not every white is the same no. by any means. And you have to compare it in different lights as well, because sometimes it does just look white. Yeah. Um, but yours had a slight cast of gray and it was yep. like it was warmer. Mm-hmm. And we made sure that it looked good with the countertops. Yeah. It, it, and it yeah. does. It's it, we get so many compliments coming coming into the kitchen. So good. let's go back a little bit. You mm-hmm. you're it's to twenty twenty one. When did you start doing this, and how did you get into it? I've been doing this for almost twenty five years. Wow. Yeah, I started in New York. Okay. Um, I was in textile design, and then I went to New York School of Interior Design. Cool. And I started with a woman who is a residential designer. And from there, I went into commercial and hospitality work. So I did a lot of hotels and restaurants. Um, I did Mohegan Sun and the Poconos, places like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then um, I moved to Italy for a little bit. I know that. And you know how to speak Italian. I do. Isn't that amazing? She can speak Italian. Not perfectly. but (laughs) I can order lasagna. That's about it. I mean, that's that's the the extent of my my Italian. All you have to do is add an accent to it. (laughs) Lasagna. <laughs> Lasagna. And then you're good, right? Then that's Italian. It's all good. No, but that's really cool. So you must learn a lot in, in Italy. You had yes. to. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of design starts there, especially kitchen design. Oh, really? Yep. They're on the forefront. Um, did not know that. Yep. So I did learn a lot there. And then when I came back, I decided I just wanted to do my own thing. So I have clients here in Ratting and Wyomissing. Um, yeah. North Carolina, Virginia. I go to New York once a week to the design center. So that's what I like. I think my clients like about working with me here too, is that you're I've bringing access. stuff. You're bringing stuff yeah. in. I, I'm bringing stuff in. You're not in. in the Berks County bubble. Right. You're, you're going outside the bubble mm-hmm. and you're saying, Hey, what about this? Yeah. How about this? Yeah. Especially with finishes like mm-hmm. wallpaper. Oh yeah. We know about the wallpaper. Fabrics. 
Yep, you love your wallpaper. Um, I do love my wallpaper. I got to tell you, this is this is why she's making a joke of this. Yeah. My wife wanted something different for the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And actually, you had brought it up, I think, and said, hey, yeah. why don't we put a different spin in this bathroom? Right. So I thought wallpaper was done. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was done. They burned it all or they shredded it. Yeah. And it's no longer wallpaper. It's around. Yeah. <laughs> and then she brings in. Then I'm thinking, oh, we're going to do wallpaper. So this is going to be like a nice wallpaper. Right. And not that it's not nice. It's very nice. Right. Actually, it's, yeah, very nice. So- she brings in these, Julie brings in these samples that my wife is going gaga over. And I'm like, really? Are, are, is this, is this where we're going with this? Yeah. You know, and finished product. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love it. It's probably one of the things that I brag about. Yeah. And it's one of the things that I have to do. I don't like doing this, but I have to say my wife was right. Yes. And that's really hard for me to say. Yes. I teared up a little bit. Did you notice that? Yeah. Um, but no, but seriously, I, it, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I'm glad. It's hard to get a feeling of what it's going to look like from a small sample. Yeah. And that's kind of where I come in because yeah. I have to explain it to you as best as I can, but also try to show you images. Yeah. Um, yours was a newer pattern, so there wasn't a lot to it's show. It's a cool pattern. Yeah. Really cool pattern. So, and it's warm. It's on really nice background paper. It yeah. kind of looks hand painted. Yeah. Um, it brings in all of the colors that Jess loves. Yeah. Um, the really pretty blues and the warm reds and everything. So- I knew it was going to be a winner, but it was just getting you. And I love it. I was proven wrong. It was sometimes it's just more like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just not going to worry about this right. part. Right. I'm right. 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 You guys do it and see what happens and I'll trust you. And then, um, that's what happened. So I, I the next I, thing I, you know, you get a call. Hey, we're getting divorced. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bathroom was it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. We're well, done. It was mostly about you not really referring to it as a rooster anymore. <laughs> It's not a rooster. It's just a bird. I know. I kept calling it a rooster. I think there's other words I used actually, yeah. but uh, yeah. But, but once you get the pretty vanity in yeah. and you hang a really nice mirror above it and you get the sconce and, you know, we did um, monogram awesome. towels for her, yeah. you know, it all just comes together. Yeah. It's amazing. And the mm-hmm. kitchen just came together too. But where where do you see things right now? Like I want to get into bathrooms too. Like mm-hmm. I've noticed as a real, t- real estate agent that, you know, the big tubs we're in. Remember that? Right. Back in the 90s. I'd yes. say early 2000s, too. Still yeah. in, still in. Everybody had to have one. Yeah. Nobody used them, but they had to have and one. built in also, yeah. not freestanding. No, no. Yep, yeah. exactly. It was built mm-hmm. in, and it was like trying. It was usually the triangular one in the corner. Right. Um, and um, so now I see showers mm-hmm. really going crazy yeah. and the freestanding tubs. Absolutely. If you have the space and you don't use a tub often, it's, it's smarter and better to just just create a very large shower. I love large showers. And especially showers. adding a bench in if yeah. you have the room. That's been a trend for a while. Mm-hmm. The trend that is sort of added on top of that is creating a more seamless look. Oh. So the floor of the main bathroom can just run into the floor of the shower as well. Okay, so cuz before kind of it used to be like like it would be different. You yeah. would have yeah. a lip. Yeah. So you kind of step into the shower. But now just having it really seamless is a nice look. And also they've created really beautiful seamless drains. Yeah. So it doesn't I've have seen to be those. in the center You mean the lines? Anymore. Remember, mm-hmm. the, they do the lines now. I see my hotels. Yep. They do that line that's at the one end of the shower. They and do. as long as it leans towards that, who cares, right? Exactly. Yeah. And now for residential, you can buy that as well. Yeah. Um, so that's a nice trend. In terms of tubs, uh, freestanding tubs are really beautiful. Yeah, they are. And they're moving away from sort of um, anything with square edges, so a more rounded, rounded tub. Right. Which is beautiful. old school, right? Right. That's old school. That's right. like the old Victorians used to the have those old, claw tubs. The claw foot. And they were all rounded and weighed right. 3,000 pounds. Right. Yeah. And now it just doesn't have any feet and it sort of looks sculptural. Yeah. But the the trend really in 2021, um, especially probably after COVID and being at yeah. home a lot yeah. and needing to relax more is just creating a more spa-like environment in these bathrooms. Yeah. And so seamlessness... Um, rounded edges, no shower door, no shower curtain. Exactly. Right? And that's what you mean by seamlessness, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you don't need, you don't need the door anymore. As long as you angle that mm-hmm. shower head in a certain way and the shower is mm-hmm. big enough and you don't, and everything kind of just, I love that. Right. Love it. Yeah. People just want to relax. Yeah. Even, um, floating vanities. Yeah. I love those know, too. No feet. Um, they're yep. easy to clean under. Cleanliness is a really, really big trend. Um, just because. Wait, so it wasn't before. Well, <laughs> 
Back in 1998, it was slobs. Yeah. That was in the sloppiness. The more sloppy you could be, right. the better it was. You know? Yeah, right. Yeah, but it's it's just less of everything. Gotcha. Yeah, clean, you know, clean, being like able clean to angles. Clean quickly yes. in general in kitchens and baths. All for it. Um, especially when there are things that you can't see. You know, so yep. white countertops are nice. Yeah. Um, people are adding sinks to mud rooms. Ooh. Just being able to wash your hands on the Ooh, go because of COVID. Because of COVID. COVID. Yeah. yeah. See, that's another one with COVID. Yeah. What else did COVID affect? Wanting to bring the outside in. So bring connect, the outside yeah, in. Yeah. Connecting to nature because you're inside a lot. Wow. Like plants? So, yep. Plants. So okay. there's something called biophilic design. I don't know if you oh, know gosh, what that is. Oh gosh, that's a big word for me. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's biophilia and it's it's the design of bringing nature in. I love it. Yeah. And so it kind of relates to a lot of things, primarily bringing plants in. Okay. Um, because they, which are good for you. They're, they're good for you. They're giving they off clean, oxygen and they take our CO2 away, yeah, right? They clean the air yeah, and, um, they make you feel like you're, you know, connected to nature. Um, also nature shapes. So although mm. subway tile is beautiful and you have subway tile, I love, I love our tile. Yeah. What we did with yours is, so we, we're tearing that out this year, No, no, <laughs> but yours is neat because we elongated it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You know? Yep. And, and it had some rough ridges on it too. It's not that so clean. It, look. Yeah. It yeah. has a bit of an organic nature yeah, to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's a big thing with biophilic design hmm. is creating more nature related patterns. Gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. So that's what's happened. So it's bringing the outside in. Mm-hmm. So when I start shoveling a pile of dirt into the family room yes. and tell Jess, we're going to, I'm going to plant something in yes. the middle. Is that okay? That's normal. Then. I think if right? you just right? add some herbs to it, uh, add some herbs, she'll be happy. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Or we'll put it in the powder room with the, with the rooster. Maybe we'll have like a whole bunch of chickens in there or yeah. something. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Your kids will love that. Yeah. Oh, oh, Catherine would definitely love that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what else is going on? What, what do you see? Um, in kitchens. Now, we just had our kitchen mm-hmm. done. Yes. So what's out of date already in our kitchen? What do you Gosh, think? I wouldn't really say anything. Not out of date, you know, but no, like... But you did the right thing yeah. because you didn't go with a stark white, stark white yes. kitchen and you didn't go with an all white kitchen. We changed the color right. of your dry bar. Absolutely. And oh, I love we, the dry bar. And we added yeah. depth. So yeah. dark cabinetry is very in. Cool. Um, we also layered lighting. So layered mm-hmm. lighting is, is, is in. still love our lighting. Yeah. So still you, love our lighting. You have pendants, but then mm-hmm. in, right behind that, you have a really pretty chandelier yep. and it's a wood texture. So, yep. um, natural textures is another trend. And so we did a lot of wood. So we brought um, the chandelier lighting. that was outside. We brought it in. That's what we did. Yes. It's, it's a wooden oh, chandelier. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's, it, it we does. were way ahead of our time. It, you really yeah. were. Yeah. Well, actually you were. <laughs> You just told us, and we said, "Yeah, that looks good." So, good. <laughs> but you understood it absolutely. You know, I, I understood like, a lot of it. You were like, "I get this." I remember how you guys got me on that chandelier in the dining room. That was definitely a trick by you, and my oh, wife. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they're like, "Here, which one do you like out of all of these?" So there's five chandeliers, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, I like that one." Now I'd given them a budget. Yeah. In the meantime, and I thought, "Oh, well, obviously these are all in budget, right?" Mm-hmm. So I picked the most expensive chandelier. Then Jess tells me what it costs. I'm like, "She's <laughs> like, well, you picked it." <laughs> So guess what chandelier we have? The, the one that's out of budget one. and in the it's in the dining room. Right, and I right, love it. Right. Love that light. The trick is only showing you options that Jess likes. Yes, that's so, what, so if true. If you say yes to any of so them, true. It's she's all right. It's all good. <laughs> See, they were working against me the whole time. I yeah. knew it. I yeah. knew it. Yeah, but it's for you in the end. It is. Happy. It is. I'll tell you what. Yeah. We look at pictures right now, Julie, of our kitchen from before, mm-hmm. and it's we will look at it, like we'll see a picture from like last Christmas or two Christmases right. ago and we see our kitchen, our old kitchen right. and we're like, Oh gosh, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Like how did we ever bring anybody in the house thinking that was cool? Right. You know what right. I mean? It was just you so just get used different to things. Right. And you know what did it for us actually? And let's just mm-hmm. bring back the COVID thing. It's mm-hmm. interesting is we sat around in our house and yeah. you probably have this story a lot. Yep. Sat around in a house for mm-hmm. what? Four, four to six weeks or more, right. eight weeks, whatever, yeah. literally in the house. Right. And you are using the kitchen Every single day. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden it hits you. You're like, I don't like this kitchen anymore. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's really what happened to us. We right. had a glass of wine out on the deck. Yeah. We sat there one night and said, and I said to her, I said, you know, we are not happy with our kitchen. Mm-mm. And then that's when we brought you in, got Imperial. Imperial right. Contracting did our, our work and yeah. they, they're they fantastic. Rodney. They did my bar downstairs. Love Rodney. Yeah. Love the company. They're wonderful. Shout out to Rodney. And also you did Kim and, Kim and Roby's uh, kitchen, the Williams. Yep. And their kitchen looks 
fabulous. Don't you love it? It looks amazing. Yeah. looks like nothing like I've ever seen. I know. It's and, amazing. And I hope they're happy. I mean, they they're have very teenagers. Happy. So, yes. you know, they have p- kids and lots of people over all yep. the time. So they that have kitchen a really, works really wonderful. nice sized island. Yes. Um, yeah. How about islands? Are they in? Islands Absolutely. are still good? Yeah. Islands are only getting bigger. That's Only, the thing. Yeah, the one that you designed for them is like 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. It's like huge. Yeah, yeah. I know. Now, the thing I have a question for, what about all these new colors and appliances? Mm-hmm. There's like the the like the like off black or the browns. There's the, yep. that always scares me because how- It's a commitment. It is a commitment, right? Yeah, yeah. You have to be really sure in your decision. And with Kim, for example, yeah, he, he got, really and I love that fridge. Black. Yes. And so he's like, nope, I'm always going to like this. But also those appliances are sort of an off black. Yes. So they're not jet black. And they're not shiny. So they're not shiny. It's the they're matte, matte. Fin- which I way, love. matte finish is really big right now. So matte finish is still good. Mm-hmm. Okay, matte good. Matte finish in um, faucets and hardware is really big. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. So don't be afraid to branch out on the appliances. Yeah. Um, cause they're expensive these days. They are. I mean, when you go and spend $4,000 on a fridge or 5,000, yeah. you better like the color. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, we stuck with stainless steel just cause it was like one of those things stainless like, you know what, it, never go it, to me, style. it's, it's very commercial, always looking, yes. you know? And, and I think, always. yeah. So it's, to me, that always works. And the big thing with appliances too, are smart appliances. I mean, that's yes, obviously I love my smart huge. appliances. But the thing about COVID is that you want to be able to use appliances that you don't necessarily need to touch. Yes. So, very good. Um, very yeah, good. So, Another good one. So touchless faucets, but yes. also anything that is automated by voice command. Yeah. You know, so that's a really big trend now because yeah. of COVID. Yeah, that's good. I, I mm-hmm. you know, I didn't even think about that one. Yep. That's actually great. And yep. you know what, what, what I got to tell you is a little a suggestion. I never bought warranties before on my appliances, mm-hmm. but when you're spending four or $5,000 for a refrigerator, yeah. I would buy the warranty. It, it, and I just it, started doing that. Yeah. My washing machine talks and does all these things. Yeah. And I'm like, when something goes on yeah. that, it's going to be ugly. It's not just something that's just whooshing water around anymore. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, yeah. And it's peace of mind too. Yes, you know, then you absolutely. just don't have to think about it. Absolutely. But the smarter these things get, the more complicated they are. Everything also is now automated by an app. Yes, absolutely. You know? So All any, the appliances. any smart home technology, which is always changing, mm-hmm. is a good thing. Absolutely. And also eco smart, you know. Yep. That's what's cool too. The amount yeah. of water we're saving on our new washing machine is incredible. Right. It right. really is. Right. Our water and, bill went down. Oh, that's big amazing. Time. Yep. Yep. But also self cleaning. So oh yeah. Self cleaning toilets yep. are huge now. That's amazing and too. And they're also eco friendly. Yeah. Um, air purification. Yep. We have that. Yep. Love that. So Good stuff. I think especially because of COVID, a yeah. lot of people will be purchasing those, and I'm assuming too that. They will be coming a long way in the innovation with yeah. the air purification and not having to have them so big. Yep. I mean, they do have filters. Well, the whole house stuff is if you have a mm-hmm. if you have a, an HVAC, if you have a whole house air conditioner or heating system, right. you can get uh, a really good air cleaner. Right. That cleans the whole house. You know, right. every so many you know hours, it's like completely recirculated. Exactly. It's, those are like only like a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, right. and it does the whole house. Right. You know? I think useful tips you can get other ones that are too. good for people who don't, aren't going undergoing renovations and stuff are, what can I do about things that I don't have to do an entire renovation right. for? You know, so in a case like that, you can buy them. I mean, Dyson has a really good one. Yeah. They're a little on the expensive side, but it's I think everything helpful. Dyson has is a little. I know. <laughs> but it all works though. Yeah. I mean, his vacuum cleaners are, are amazing. Yeah. You know? And it's also, they don't break down easily. Right. So exactly. So they last for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. before we end this podcast, we're going to mm-hmm. definitely bring you back because this okay. uh, this is a great, great show and there's a lot yeah. of stuff we can talk about. And what I'll do is when I see things come up, I can ask you about it next time you're back and say, yeah. hey, what about this? Yeah. What do you think about this? Definitely. So what I want, the last thing I want to ask mm-hmm. you is um, what's your favorite part of doing what you do? The people. Okay, oh my gosh. cool. I love families. I yeah. love you guys. Well, you um, guys, I got to say, you you definitely blended with our family very yeah, well. Yeah, thank you. You would come over and, and Catherine knew who you were and uh-huh. so did Carson. You became part of the family for thank that you. that eight-week period or six-week period, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. You were definitely part of the family. Yeah. We knew when you were coming over, you came over and it's, it is cool. You. Well, you're very it good at it. Because, you know, you're imposing on on everyone's time, especially yeah. in the weekends, because if you work during the week or yep. clients do, yep. it's, it's hard to have meetings. Sure. Um, and so to want to free up some of your time on the weekend for someone, hopefully you're likable. 
Yeah. Um, but I just love my clients. No, and you it shows. And like I said Thank before, you. there was never a time where I felt like you were pushing us in a certain direction or anything like that. And that to me was, that was the fear of Mm -hmm. finding somebody was that it's not going to be my kitchen. It's going to be their kitchen. Exactly. And it's uh, all about you. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's very cool. So I got to say, thanks so much for coming in and hopefully you'll come back. Hopefully you had a good time because um, we can talk about all kinds of stuff. We just talked for 20 minutes about a lot of different things. Yes. Yes. That's right. (laughs) It's all right. It's all good. It's my show. I can go as long as I want. So it's all fine. (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. So there you have it. Julie Garman, interior extraordinaire. She's amazing. She does a great job. Our kitchen looks excellent. Uh, and, uh, you know, everything that she does is just, she does a great job. So uh, if you're looking for uh, somebody to help you out with the kitchen, redo, bathroom, whole house, whatever, make sure you get in touch with her. She's on Facebook, Julie Garman. How else do we find you? How else do we find you? I do have an Instagram. I have a website. Julie okay, Garman what's your website? Interiors. JulieGarmanInteriors.com. Awesome. It's not terribly updated. But that's right. They can yeah. get you there, right? Yeah, they can all get right, me there. All right, cool. That's all that matters. All right, we're going to head out. We'll see you soon. <laughs>Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.